Signals tell train drivers when it's safe to go and what routes their trains will take. There are about 40,000 signals across the railway and a complete signalling system is complex with many more parts that work together. A signalling system collects all the information needed to tell drivers when it's safe to move forward. So, when our systems detect a problem, signals turn red automatically and stop trains running. We understand delays are frustrating, but red signals are there to keep everyone safe. What issues are some of the most common causes of red signals? Points. Movable pieces of track that carry trains from one line to another. Train detection. The system can't tell us where trains are due to an electrical issue, such as short circuit on the track or a faulty component. Power failures. These can affect systems covering a very large area. Extreme weather. This can affect train detection systems and points. How do we work to prevent issues like these? The railway is investing heavily in upgrading signalling across Britain, so modern, digital signalling systems cover more services. In fact, each year, signalling upgrades play a huge part in planned engineering works to give you a better railway. This involves replacing traditional signal boxes with more reliable, state-of-the-art rail operating centres, which control signalling for large areas. And in-cab digital signalling is set to replace signalling equipment you'll have seen from your train. We do everything we can to prevent delays and thank you for bearing with us while we work together across the railway to get you and freight moving again, quickly and safely. <laughs>